spinal cord is different to understand. I don't like pictures like this because it gives you the idea that the organ is a mush of nothing. But you have to remember that if we were to increase our magnification, we would find a tangled mess of neurons and axons basically running through the white and the gray matter. You have to remember that this isn't like squishy, squishy organ. I mean, this is like very specific neurons in places. So you can see the spinal cord here at different levels of the spine, right? The um, we've cervical, thoracic, lumbar, sacral. And you can see that the spine has white matter on the outside. So it's got, you know, white chocolate covering on the outside. White matter is neurons that are running up and down. So in white matter, you have to like imagine that there's strings coming out of this picture at you running up and down in the white matter. The gray matter that's always on the inside in the spinal cord. And I just note that that's different in the brain. The brain has gray matter on the outside and white matter on the inside. But the gray matter provides an area where neurons can synapse. And we've actually seen that, or you've seen that if you've watched the spinal reflexes video. There are sensory neurons that will try to enter, sensory neurons that will enter into the spinal cord and they will synapse with motor neurons that then leave the spinal cord and control skeletal muscle. So gray matter is an, like, gray matter provides an area where these neurons can meet up. All right, this is the only slide that I have about gray matter, okay? All of the other slides are about white matter. So gray matter of the spinal cord is pretty simple to understand. We did go through spinal cord anatomy in a previous video, and we called these things here horns, right? This was the ventral horn that you have here. We have an anterior horn, and then you had a dorsal horn. So I just, I wanna point that out. Gray matter, because it's an area where neurons meet up, right? Remember what I said, you have sensory neurons coming in and they meet up with a motor neuron that then leaves. So what we have here are nuclei. In fact, the neuron that's leaving the motor neuron, its nucleus is up here by the synapse, right? That's where the cell body is. And so its nucleus is pretty much in gray matter. Nuclei are not myelinated. Only axons are myelinated. This is why this is gray matter here. It's a lot of cell bodies. It's a lot of axon terminals. There's not a lot of myelin. Okay, so the meeting areas are specific. It's kind of like a bus terminal, right? You go here for out of state, here for in state, north, south. So the areas of gray matter that are highlighted over here on the right, you've got the dark purple, the light purple, the blue, and the orangey, pinkish, apricotty. Those are meeting areas for neurons that carry specific information. And just write this down before I explain it. Somatic is on the outside, visceral is on the inside, right? You know that. Somatic tissues like skin and skeletal muscle are on the outside of the body. Visceral organs like your liver, your gallbladder, your pancreas are on the inside. So organ, so areas where sensory neurons bring somatic information in, they synapse right here in the dark purple. If there are sensory neurons that bring visceral information in, they will synapse right here. In the light purple. Motor neurons that take visceral information out to your gallbladder, pancreas, or whatever organ, they synapse right there in the blue. And motor neurons that take somatic information out, they synapse right there in the apricot. So this is very specific where we have neurons meeting up with neurons.